Hey Capricorn, welcome to your general love read. Okay, if you are new, I am an energy channeler, so some of what you see may not seem traditional. Uh, <laughs> take it as it resonates. Thank you, Spirit. Leave the rest behind. Worlds can be reversed. Time is fluid. It could be that when you land in this energy, right, it is future energy. Okay, and that's when you resonate with it. For those of you returning, thank you so much. I appreciate you so much. You are why I come back. I love your energy. I love your flow. Okay. If you'd like to know anything about me, that information is down below. You can also find me on IG, uh, Facebook, and TikTok, but I am most active on IG. Um, it is all at Mindset Unicorn. I do have some new things coming up. You can also go to Patreon where I will do an extended. It's a way to donate to the channel every month and I give extended readings and early access bonuses. It is also a link down below where you can donate if you just get that energetic contribution. Okay, by clicking like. That's the easiest way. Okay, you've cleared something from your heart here, Capricorn. Okay, clean slate. And this is giving you a realization that uh, what this was doing was it was actually blocking you. It was keeping your heart in silence, right? Like um, you have realized something big. Um, you could have just come out of a very dark night, right? Uh, where you felt like you were completely losing your shit, but accessing this energy of healing your heart has really done some big things for you, right? You're ascending. I like that. All right. So I'm going to look at your energy. I'm going to look at the energy that's coming towards you or that you've been dealing with. All right. Um, and then we're going to see what's going on between the two. Okay. Pass. Thank you. Current. Over. Up. Oh, current. All right. That's current. Okay. Overview. Thank you your possibilities. Ooh, thank you. And their past. Thank you. All of you. Thank you. Current energy. Thank you. Future possibilities. Thank you. In between. Thank you. And the crossing energy. Crossing energy. Ooh. Underline death, right? Again, I feel like you're coming out of a big transformation and uh, very healed, very ascended energy here. Okay, I love that. Okay, in your past, Ten of Pentacles, okay, could have been just status quo, right? What I put in, I take out, okay, day to day, foundational energy, relationship, right? Uh, I feel like you could have had a, a like a precognitive energy of putting something away for the future. Uh, overview here is nine of wands, okay, in reverse. Again, I feel like you have whatever you realized. You realized I was blocking my own actions. I was blocking my own heart, and you've cleared that. And so now your mind is trying to integrate so that you can take action forward because the current energy, we've got the hangman crossed by the queen of pentacles, okay? You might be selling a house, okay? Or uh, feeling like you don't know where you're gonna end up on the other side of this. Future possibilities, knight of wands, the ace of wands, crossed by the eight of swords, okay? Again, I feel like you are going to cut yourself off from anything that seemed I feel like risk taking in the past you again you really could be like oh okay now I see where I'm going right now I'm ready to move forward could be physical move could be moving to a new city okay there's still a bit of a hold back though on really cutting yourself off there's some sort of karmic energy here that you still need to release okay the energy that you've been dealing with or that uh, is coming towards you We've got in their past the devil. 
Okay, this person came off, or person, place, or thing, right, came off as being very, like, oh, I'm so great, I'm so wonderful. But this person was dead inside, okay? This this energy was wearing a mask, and um, I felt like you were trying to do everything in your power to free their heart, to free their soul. Uh, could have felt like it was your soul contract. I keep getting messages, but I can't read them because I don't have my glasses on. Uh, could be definitely, uh, right, love bombing or just toxic messaging, right? And the overall energy for this person is five of cups in reverse. Like they don't even see where they've lost out, okay? Because they're still in seven of swords. They're still in this deceptive energy. They still haven't taken off their mask. Future possibilities, though, something's going to hit them like a brick, okay? And they won't be able to really move. They won't be able to do anything. Could be the fact that you are moving forward. But um, I don't feel like they quite get it. Because the energy between is five of wands in reverse. Like, I feel like this person has really, truly, up to this point, learned no lessons. For their behavior okay so let's go ahead and clarify okay ten of pentacles okay princess of cups again i don't feel like you got a lot of love out of this okay and maybe you did initially again could have been dealing with a narcissist because i'm seeing a lot of love initially right and um but you were highly embedded into the situation. Yeah, because there's that Eight of Swords. Okay, devil in reverse. You, again, thought you could free this person's heart and soul. You may have taken that on as a soul contract, and that's what may be the last part that you're trying to really allow yourself to understand that it's not your place, not your monkey, not your circus. Okay? Nine of Wands in reverse overall, Will of Fortune, okay? Uh, you get that you healed something. You get that you shed something. You are trying to look towards your future. You're starting to see it to full, but not fully, okay? But you are starting to see the hope. You are starting to see that, Spirit's saying, you made it. I'm getting chills saying that. You made it, okay? You, you survived. Okay, through a harsh winter like the daffodil, you came out strong. Okay, hangman, queen of pentacles in reverse. Okay, queen of swords. You're like, I'm standing really strong here. I stood up, I held my ground, but now what? Right? Because, uh, again, the emperor, okay, and the five of wands, this person really messed with your head on. Um, you're nothing without me, right? And you're taking back your power, but you've got to release still some of that negative thought energy, okay? Nine of Wands to the Ace of Wands, future possibilities, okay? There we go, Eight of Wands. You're gonna know, your guys are sending you all the information. You're gonna know where you're meant to be, okay? When you feel the inkling, follow that inkling. Eight of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. That's just the last bit of your process, right? Is allowing yourself to cut yourself free from this. Okay, Nine of Wands, right? Um, taking this action, right? Taking this Ace of Wands action, moving yourself forward, is that first step in removing the burden, okay? And I feel like it's going to bring a lot of abundance to you. Yeah, Six of Cups. It could uh, bring you a very strong, powerful connection. Uh, could start off as friendship. <coughs> Someone needs to hear that, but it will be very transformative in your life okay 
this person placed with being the devil, okay? Uh, the lovers, okay? This person was never going to free themselves. They're showing me this as a time bomb, okay? Where it all kind of exploded, perhaps when you realized that this was just a karmic energy. This was just a lesson, okay? Yeah, 10 of cups, okay? Something took you out of La La Land, all right? Showed you the truth, started setting the sun on this. High Priestess awakened you towards this ascension energy, okay? Opened up your manifestation powers, all right? opened up your Akashic records. Five of cups in reverse. <laughs> Three of cups in reverse. This person loved no one. They, they love no one. They think everyone is there to benefit them. Okay, little entitled. Again, the five of cups. Their higher self is more or less just like there's nothing that we can do to go and heal this shadow right this darkness that is within this person with all of the those three of cups like all like being spilled like this person takes no accountability and their their higher self is just like watching in sadness that there's they know there's nothing that they can do, but there's also nothing that you can do, right? Seven of Swords. Okay, we've got the Empress and the Three of Swords, right? They are still hiding from the fact of how much pain they've caused to the one that nurtured them the most, Eight of Cups. They are still in denial that they are walking away from anything good. Like they feel like this is their path to ascension, their path to awakening, right? But they still think they're gonna get something out of you here with temperance. Okay, the fool is crossed by nine of cups in a crossing energy. They see you happy. That hits them with the brick. That drops the mask for a minute. You're moving on and you are happy. Ten of Swords, right? They wanted you to be dead. They wanted you to lay down and just deal with it. But here we go, Queen of Pentacles, right? You're rising back up. You're looking at all the opportunities that are opening up in your life. You're happy and you are loving yourself. That's beautiful. How can you stay aligned to those messages you're getting, okay, that are for your highest good? Okay, strength in reverse. I feel like you need to know that none of it's going to happen until after Leo season, okay? But uh, stay out of the headspace of that emperor, taking away your strength, right? Okay, don't judge yourself, right? Your destination is already planned. How you get there is a choice. You're going to get there no matter what. One path may be easier than the other. One may be more uh, spiritual. Okay, just let go of the past death. Okay, and again, right? Transform, ascend, move forward, believe it. Tell me more about your happiness. This Queen of Pentacles energy that's coming forward, right? Ace of Wands, again, it comes from you taking that action step, okay? Again, I feel like for some of you, it's literally moving forward. Okay, there's the Wheel of Fortune, okay? With the Queen of Wands, right? Holding that action, taking back your power, do it, okay? Let's get some advice from the universe. Yeah. You have ended your 
contract. Let it go. Don't try to keep it bonded together, right? That's why this very divine, powerful connection came in and mirrored to you what you needed to shed, okay? That was the sole purpose for this, okay? Could be doing the same with that person, right? Queen of Swords, yes. You had to eliminate something to come into your heart, Queen of Cups. Okay, now you're on that path to love. Okay, yeah, Ace of Cups, as you love yourself more, okay, Spirit's like, the truth is, is that you will attract love. And that's what you have wanted, right? Just rest and recover. Allow yourself to get these messages. Allow yourself to heal. Okay, I'm going to close it off with an oracle, then we'll move over to Patreon. Okay, again, the link is down below. Yeah, okay, here's the thing. Intentionally, you have still been in some way, right, mirroring this karmic energy of wearing a mask. Hiding your true self behind the mask. And Spirit says it's time to intentionally set the energy forward, right? You don't have to tell anyone about it. Okay, they want me to look at the bottom here. Yeah, okay, status quo. Uh, you don't have to put on any errors. And that may be the challenge for you, right? Is that I don't want people to see me struggle. I don't want people to see uh, the softer side of me, okay? But that softer side of you, that's what brings you love, okay? And you've recovered that. Don't let it go, right? Let go of the toxicity. Don't let this new heart space go. All right. So I hope this helps you. This is where I leave you. Have a very beautiful week. If you're following me over to Patreon, I will see you there in a few minutes. All right. Much love, guys. Bye.